Hello guys, it's Fixer from Flat29 and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a swimming pool on Minecraft creative mode. Now, if you've been watching my city build, you'll see that I tried to actually build a swimming pool and it failed, unfortunately. But hey, there you go. It's all a learning curve, isn't it? So here we go. So the first thing you want to do, unless you've already got an idea as to where you're going to have the swimming pool, if you're doing a city build or you're just building buildings, you just want to build something new, find yourself a nice big space where you can fit a swimming pool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mark the size of the swimming pool out now it doesn't matter how big you make this you can make it as big you can make it the size of the whole map if you want um or, or as small as you like really okay so what you're going to do is you're just going to dig out the um uh, basically the confines of the swimming pool that you're going to be building now you can change this at any time you can add to it you can shrink it down i will be doing another video on how to make um even more exciting swimming pools but this is just a basic swimming pool for you guys or when a little bit over the top on this actually made it a little bit bigger than I should have um, which has made the video a little bit longer but there you go um, it is it is what it is okay so once you've kind of dug out the size of your swimming pool what you want to do is you want to have a look just check to see if it's okay now you want to dig down three blocks okay so as you can see we've got the top middle and bottom here now of course you can make this deeper if you like it does work quite nicely though uh, for this depth and then what you want to do is you want to hollow out the entire area of the swimming pool now if you're like me I'm a little bit trigger happy I do make mistakes on things just because uh, I'm impatient uh, but there you go um, I don't think Minecraft was made for the patient um, although it's quite relaxing I'm not gonna lie um, now uh, see as you can see I've just made a made a hole there where I shouldn't have made one but there you go doesn't really matter so uh, you will be able to fill those in now what you're going to do is you are going to hollow out this whole area now this can take a little bit of time depending on how big you make the swimming pool so if you're just practicing maybe start with something a little bit smaller just because it's going to make life a lot easier for you okay now it just so happens to be raining here and uh, i know i'm going to get a lot of things um, stuck in my construction area so i'm sorry mr pig uh, in real life i would never do that um <laughs> so yeah so um not the best weather for swimming but there you go okay so we are going to be digging this area out here okay and Okay, now there might be, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of you out there that are going to be a lot faster than me at doing this, uh, but there you go. Um, but this is a, a great thing that you can do at any level on Minecraft creative mode. So here we go. So I'm just going to knock all of this down here. Okay, now I will explain to you exactly why you're, you're needing these specific blocks okay um, so what we're going to do essentially is we're digging out the pool just like in real life really um, digging out the pool uh, we're going to line it with the the white blocks okay we are going to make it look a little bit more interesting I'm going to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys because you know I mean uh, just a normal swimming pool it's not very exciting is it I mean yeah it's cool to have one but it's not the most exciting thing in the world um, yeah so um, we are going to use the white blocks to line the pool and then we're going to put the blue blocks at the bottom of the pool this is literally just for aesthetics you can use red blocks you can use black blocks you can use whatever you like really it's entirely up to you um, but the fundamentals will remain the same so yeah just check in the size of the swimming pool there I'm just thinking yeah that's a big old pool so that is kind of holiday resort size so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it a little bit more exciting okay so I'm actually gonna dig out a little extra section here just to kind of make it a little bit more uh, exciting for you guys now it does take a little bit of thinking when you're doing this kind of thing because obviously if you do anything incorrectly um, you know you've just got to go back and you've got to you've got to rebuild stuff which can be a little bit of a pain but there you go I mean that's Minecraft for you so here we go so I'm not I'm actually gonna do this a little bit off center um, I don't know if I want two this side or three 
No, I'll make it three, even though it's going to be a little bit lopsided, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm I'm cool with that, so I'm not that OCD. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, so I'm going to dig this down as well. I'm not actually going to dig this as deep as the rest of the swimming pool. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to extend the sides of it so you've got to climb into the, uh, the, the little bit of pool here. Now, one thing you'll realise as well, if you do have any areas that are slightly higher than others, there is a large possibility that you are going to create um, kind of a, like a current so um, the rest of the pool will be still but there's going to be a section here coming out of this little area where it is going to create a slight current so if you go too close to the edge then it is going to kind of push you off there we go see that's me making mistakes there but hey ho um, or oh, no actually uh, should I keep it like yeah no I'll keep it like that that's absolutely fine okay so it doesn't need to be that big so that's fine. Okay, we just check. Am I happy with that size? Yes, that will do nicely. Okay, cool. So just gonna pop these around here. Now, of course, there are other things you can do. As I say, I am gonna be doing, um, no, let's, let's even that up. There we go, it's me being trigger happy again. Um, yeah, so there are a, a lot of things that you can do to make this even more exciting. Now, I am gonna just do this video here, and if you guys like it, if you wanna see me do some other cool creative things um, on, uh, on Minecraft, free mode uh, creative mode then uh, I'm more than happy to do that so there we go so as you can see we're putting in the uh, the, the walls here and I think I think the white looks pretty good actually I mean it's got kind of a like a clean look to it so now of course you don't have to knock the walls in like this and then refill them I mean if you want to kind of you know just mark your area out uh, and to make make the area a little bit bigger than you want it uh, like a block bigger either side you can do um, it might even be quicker actually um, but I like to do this just so I can kind of see exactly how big the area is going to be and just make sure that you know I'm happy with that size of area so yeah no I am gonna I am gonna knock the wall out here well I'm gonna try to um, <laughs> there we go awesome okay so I just want to check that that's gonna be the right size for me I'm pretty sure I'm happy with that. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Cool, and um, yeah, so as I say, I mean, it can be quite time consuming, but the the overall effect at the end um, is brilliant. I'm actually waiting for nightfall because um, what normally happens when you do this kind of stuff is you will get a swimming pool full of zombies, uh, which, is, which is quite interesting. Although rather irritating when they're getting in your way while you're building, but I'm sure you guys know that. If you do play creative mode quite a lot, then you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm saying to you. Uh, but there you go, it is what it is. Now, uh, as I say, I am gonna do uh, some more videos where you've got lights and things like that in the swimming pool. There we go, make mistakes again. Okay, let me just clean that up. See, I don't know why that happened, but there you go. Okay, yeah, so this will be just a simple, simple swimming pool with a little bit of a twist uh, on the side. So there we go, so let's just fill that out. Okay, we're gonna check that. Just make sure that we're happy with the size there. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna fill the corners in. Now you might wanna extend the sides as well. Uh, just so the sides, um, you know, look thicker. Um, entirely up to you though. I mean, you might have uh, a different design idea. And as I say, you can use whatever color blocks you like, but I'm just gonna knock those corners in there. Cool, there we go. So let's have a quick look in here. Me just being a little bit OCD, uh, just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna fill in these holes I accidentally made. Just so it looks nicer for you. There we go. Now, um, what you need to do now is you're going to get your blue block. As I say, it doesn't have to be blue. It's just, you know, the colour of water. So it does look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So yeah, just chuck that in there. Okay, so hopefully we'll get this filled out quite quickly for you, just so you can see exactly what it's going to look like. Now you're probably wondering why do I have dirt in my inventory? I will show you why. It's it's not it's not overly important. It just makes life a lot easier if you use dirt. Um, you don't have to use dirt either. It's 
just kind of habit really I mean if you play survival mode you'll know that dirt is very easy to break up and doesn't cause a lot of damage to any of your items so if you're using pickaxes and things like that uh, dirt is something that you can just kind of smash away at for a very long time before it causes any damage to your tools um, so I will use dirt so what you're gonna do now just check just check you're happy with everything I mean I I'm quite happy with that to be quite honest with you um, so yeah as I said uh, I'm going to extend the side of this so I'll do that now actually just so you guys can see uh, what I'm trying to achieve okay now I will show you what to do with the dirt in just a second let me just quickly finish this okay yeah see I'm I'm quite happy with that okay I'm just gonna pop some steps in here as well there we go lovely lovely okay cool Okay, so yeah, that's uh, right. So I'd say it's a little bit off center. So I'm just gonna put these steps here as well as you would. Uh, obviously, the there's gonna be a, a bit of a, a drop there, but that's absolutely fine. We'll sort that out in a moment. So as I say, pop your dirt on top of the blue blocks. There we go. See zombies. Um, the undead are arriving. Uh, yeah. So pop your dirt on top of your blue blocks okay now as i say i'm going to explain to you um that you know what these zombies are going to get in the way so i while i'm destroying these i will explain to you exactly why we're going to be using dirt here so the dirt uh, essentially it just acts as uh, an extra barrier for the water so once you put your water in from the water bucket it's it will fill up the swimming pool a lot quicker because you have less i oh, see more zombies pain there we go um yeah see i think in real life if there was a, a zombie attack i don't think your main issue would be that they're in the way while you're building your swimming pool but they, that's it you get out of it right okay so um yeah it's, it's just going to work as a barrier so it's uh, an extra block in the way of your water okay so once you start putting the water in you'll notice that it will fill up a lot quicker if you have a layer of dirt there now if you've got a layer of dirt there and you filled it up with water as soon as you get rid of that dirt it won't make any difference to the amount of water that's in your pool okay so you want to just keep on putting this dirt in here and i'll, I'll show you um okay cool so now that is full okay lovely nice little dirt pool um okay cool so now what you want to do get your raw pork chop no get your water bucket okay and just start smashing the water in okay see so as you can see it's going to create a little bit of a current there okay now you'll see that once you've filled it to the top the current stops so if you just keep putting water in you see there's a current the water's moving the water's moving okay so essentially what you want to do there we go see that's all still but it's still moving at the end there so just keep putting the water down until it stops moving basically and then it won't push you around whilst you're in it okay cool so there we go okay so we got as i say we got a little bit of a current there but if you keep putting water down here it will freeze half of it so it will literally be just that bit there there's nothing you can do about that but it is what it is so there we go okay now what you're going to do if in my advice is because you don't want to keep on having to fill holes um take your time a little bit more on this just because you're more likely to accidentally break bricks um whatever the, those bricks might be if you are just going absolutely mad so there we go so what i like to do i like to normally make myself a little hole and get in the hole and it's just it's just a lot quicker there we go so as you can see it's not affecting the level of the water so we would have had to put down twice as many buckets um it's up to you you don't have to do that you can just keep pounding water in there it will just fill up to the brim it won't go over the top uh, at least i don't think it will i've never had that before so but then the then again the mechanics of uh, minecraft are normally pretty simple come on get out of it you okay there we go cool so let's just smash this in here get rid of these okay now you're going to be really really surprised at the results of this is um it's going to look pretty decent i'm going to put i will put a few lights on there 
I will put a few lights. Um, I do like the spirit lamps. They're quite cool, especially at night as well. They do look better, I think, than, the, than your normal kind of torches. Um, or your normal, um, you know, fire, normal fire torches. Uh, obviously, you could use uh, spirit torches. Actually, do you know what? I'd probably, uh, see, trigger happy, slipped. Not very clever sometimes. There we go. Okay, cool. So we've already got some participants in our swimming pool. He's walking on the bottom. You silly little monkey. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's all full up now. So let's have a look. I mean, what do you think of that? That looks pretty decent, right? See, I'm quite happy with that. There we go. As I say, it's a little bit off center, but that doesn't matter. I think that adds to the character. So there we go. Um, we've already got people in the pool or oh, zombies in the pool. Happy days. Right, let's chuck some torches on here. Just so you guys can see with a bit of light. Okay. Yeah, oh sorry, I said spirit torch, I meant soul torch. Apologies, apologies. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna pop one there and one there. There we go. See, that looks pretty cool. I like that, I like that, that's nice. For a simple, a simple pool, Give it a try. Whee, whee. Cool. Nice little slide there. You could probably make some pretty cool water slides, actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna do some videos on that. Um, we'll just see. Uh, to see how that goes. I am gonna pop some steps here, actually. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna build it up too much. Um, but I am gonna pop some steps here, just so it's a little bit easier to to jump out. Okay. And then a little hop. And there we go. Cool. So there we go, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like it, like, subscribe, hit the bell. It'll let you know when my next video is out. As I say, I'm going to be doing more of these as well. I'm loving this game. If you guys are still playing it, let me know. I'm going to do some shout outs and things like that coming up soon as well. Check this out, and I'll be uh, doing my city build again soon. Until next time, this is Fixer. Keep building, and I'll see you soon.